Okay, hello everybody and welcome to day one. Uh, day one in the Living True 40 Day Challenge, uh, 40 Days to Get Back to You by Christy Wright. Uh, today is day one and I just want you to take a moment to sit back, relax, turn off the TV, radio, whatever it is else you may have on, shut the door, Take some time to be by yourself for just a little while and listen to my voice. Let me read to you and if you feel like you want to take notes or you want to start a journal, that's perfectly fine. But just for a moment, relax and breathe deep and really think about what I'm about to say, what I'm about to read to you. This is day one. God is good. In Psalm 11968, you are good and what you do is good. I remember when I applied for that camp director job, the job I knew I was going to get. I had been recruited for it and I was more than qualified. I was so burnt out on my current position and could not wait for a new challenge. I interviewed in the winter in heels and a real suit, and I just knew I nailed it. Everything was lining up perfectly. I was positive God was orchestrating this. That's why I was that much more devastated when I got the call informing me I didn't get it. I was stunned. I tried to stop my voice from shaking on the phone as I mustered something about how I understood and was grateful for the opportunity. And the moment I hung up, I lost it. I couldn't believe it. I was more than qualified for this job. It was exactly what I wanted, and it was the pay raise I desperately needed. I lay on my couch and cried angry tears. I thought, how could God do this? I thought he was good. I thought he wanted good things for me. Then I tried to comfort myself in the only way I knew how. I took matters into my own hands. I picked up my computer and started frantically searching job openings. This was one of the many times in my life I've doubted God's goodness and taken matters into my own hands. And that, friend, is actually how sin first entered the world. In Genesis, when Adam and Eve are in the Garden of Eden minding their own business, it's the serpent who first suggested that God might not be good. Now the serpent was more crafty than any of the wild animals the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God really say you must not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat fruit from the trees in the garden, but God did say you must not eat fruit from the tree that is in the middle of the garden. And you must not touch it, or you will die. You will certainly, you will not certainly die, the serpent said to the woman. For God knows that when you eat from it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. When the woman saw that the fruit of the tree was good for, for food and pleasing to the eye, and also desirable for gaining wisdom, she took some and ate it. She also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate it. That's from Genesis. This entire passage can be summarized with, They took matters into their own hands. It's what I do all the time. I doubt God's goodness and take matters into my own hands. But we know how this plays out. Then the eyes of both of them were opened, and they realized they were naked, so they sewed fig leaves together and made coverings for themselves. Genesis 3-7 For the first time ever, shame entered the picture. Oh, Eve must have thought, I thought I had this, I thought I knew better, I thought my way was best. But instead, she was exposed and ashamed. I don't know about you, but I've seen that plenty of times when my best plans blow up in my face. God will guide us in ways we don't understand, but that's why we have to remember that God is good all the time. Even when it seems like He's holding out on you, He's not. Even when it seems like you definitely know better, 
you don't. The Bible reminds us again and again that God is good. Give thanks to the Lord for He is good. His love endures forever. Psalm 107.1 The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all He has made. No good thing does God withhold from those who walk is blameless. When God tells us something in the Bible repeatedly, it means it's really important for us to get. This battle isn't new. It's the same high-stakes lie the enemy has told us since the beginning. And when we believe that lie, it doesn't turn out well. It never has. As we begin this journey, we need to begin with the most basic truth about God. He is good. Reflection and Prayer Do you believe God is good? How do you remember He's good when it doesn't feel like it? How can you resist the temptation to take matters into your own hands and let Him lead instead? And that's a good question for your journal or if you're taking notes or if it's just something you want to reflect upon. Spend some time in prayer today asking God to give you a peace that surpasses all. Understanding as you trust that He is good. And that's going to do it for chapter 1 today of the 40 day challenge. Thank you for sitting with me and allowing me to share that with you and I hope you reflect on it and pray on it and it helps your life in some little way. Thank you for watching.